Well, hello again. I am so happy to report on my um, progress with the Ultimate Reset. I finished up week one and I am going strong in week two. And I wanted to give just an overall feedback of my first week of the Ultimate Reset. And um, just kind of just be raw, tell you how I really felt. So um, prior to my beach body days, I was big into CrossFit and I also I was hardcore paleo. And then, um, and then my husband and I went through some health issues and we've kind of switched gears on that and now we're kind of the opposite of that. I do a lot of yoga because of my back issues and I also um, have been eating mainly I would say Mediterranean diet and slowly switching into vegetarian diet and I'm really liking how I'm feeling. But I was feeling lost, didn't really know how to do that and the ultimate reset has helped me. For those of us who need the ultimate reset and want to um, kind of a start to weed out or, or not eat as much meat in general you don't necessarily have to go vegetarian like I am but if you're wanting to um, cut back on the meat and eat more of a veggie fruit diet this is a great option for you and what I found from week one is that it has really helped me see how to do that to make sure I'm getting the right proteins and the grains and the fruits and vegetables phytonutrients and all my um, minerals and vitamins so this is really really helpful for me um, but now let's be raw so week one um, I have my little guide here week one I had to do the following I can show you in a minute I think it switched around uh, week one was reclaim and um, I took I had to mineralize I mixed this with um, with my uh, distilled water and I actually love it. I drink it all the time. Um, I just bought a bunch of gallons and mineralized it, and that's all I've been drinking. And then I did, whoops, and I did optimize, which helps digestion. So, and then of course, um, then our power greens, which is like, I actually like the taste of it. It's, it is power greens. Um, spinach powder, cucumber powder, corolla powder, spruina. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying these right, it's late. Celery powder, barisca, powder, the leaf, um, and so pretty much it's like the perfect little salad in powder form, and it's really good. I really like it, and so that's what I did week one. Now, after feeling that way, um, I really went above and beyond and bought everything I was supposed to off of the grocery list. I don't advise doing that. I spent, I have to look at my old video, but I spent um, probably a little over $200 on, on groceries for one week. And I found, even with doubling some of them with my husband, I didn't end up using all of the ingredients. I found myself eating, um, I really liked picking two or three um, lunches and, you know, spreading those out throughout the week opposed to making a new meal every day. And it does have those in the little tips in there. So I uh, wouldn't suggest buying, I have a lot of parsley. <laughs> a lot of parsley and zucchini. I have a lot of zucchini and parsley left over. So I've been cutting those up and making dishes for my husband. <laughs> with them. Um, so for this week, because I'm traveling so much, which I don't advise it, it is really hard to travel. And I thought simply because I'll have my own car and I'll be able to pack, it'd be a great idea. Um, it's really hard. So I went through and went ahead and went shopping and to start my week two, uh, it's pretty much all fruits in the morning, which is easy. Cutting up fruit, making that versatile with berries and melons and uh, kiwi, it's really easy. Um, and then I picked out some lunches for when I'm gone, I'm repetitive lunches. I'm going to be eating a lot of the same meals. I am not someone that needs so complex of a diet. Um, I probably could live off of the same four or five rotating meals of my life and I would be just fine. That's just how I am. And I found this, a friend of mine, um, it's on page 111 of the Ultimate Reset book, and it's called Reset and a Crunch. And I didn't even see it before, I because it's behind all the recipes. And simply, if you're in a hurry or in a crunch, it gives you uh, a little cheat sheets, essentially, of um, what you can eat if you don't want to do such complex meals. And it's amazing. So in the, in the morning for week two, I can either do um, three cups of three cups of fresh fruit or I could do miso soup with a 
quarter sliced avocado and a half a cup of seasoned mashed chickpeas and it gives you the recipes. Um, for lunches, I have a, a choice of three lunches um, and then dinners, I have a choice of three dinners and I can rotate those all week and that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it helps me save on groceries um, and it helps me with meal planning because I can make multiple of uh, I can, you know, triple the serving size on one meal and have it done. So, my advice to you if you're doing this, unless you really want to try new things and have the time um, and the money really to meal prep for every different meal, I, re I recommend doing the Reset the Crunch because my grocery bills were cut in half. I spent roughly, I bought a little bit more than I was supposed to at Target, everybody does. Um, I bought about $35 worth of things at Target and then an additional um, $43 at Aldi's. So if you remember, my Target bill last week was $140, almost $150 and my um, Aldi's was an additional $900. So I saved significant money. I will show you those in a minute and give you an up close of what next this uh, week two looks like. Overall, I'm feeling exhausted. My first um, three days I slept at least 11 or 12 hours and I know my diet had been bad. I was eating fried food, a lot of carbs, um, I was eating and drinking um, a lot of a lot of uh, coffee and a lot of lot of caffeine and I had been drinking more um, and my body essentially was just like oh try to detox and it just like felt like oh my gosh I was so tired um, there was a couple times that I did drink black coffee um, so I know my resets not perfect but I'm really making an effort and I slept and had pizza and it made me feel miserable so um, it really did make me feel miserable but I would say after the fat first four days I felt a lot better, I'm more energized, I'm more regular, I'm going to the bathroom regularly. Um, I know I'm hydrated because I'm going to the that bathroom that way a lot more and uh, it's making me, me more aware of my portion size and I'm truly trying to make sure I chew my food because I've discovered that I inhale my food. I mean, I hardly chew it. So all great things from week one and I'll show you what week two looks like. This is what my week one groceries looked like. You can see at Target. I did buy, what did I buy for Christopher? Cookies, don't look at that. Don't look at the cookies. <laughs> so minus the cookies out of there. And then at all these, uh, you can see I pretty much got all of my fruit and veggies there. And not too bad, um, $39 and uh, $43 minus my $6 in cookies. Now, this is what week one looked like. I finished that up. I am into week two, which is the reset, release, excuse me. And those are the uh, things I'm taking this week. And this is exactly what it looks like. My optimize here. That's what that looks like when I open it. My soothe, which I take at nighttime before dinner. That's what that looks like. Power greens, which I take after lunch, oops, and I forgot, detox, I take that three times a day, and it kind of looks like, well, I need to do a glass gulp, it's got a citrus to it, I don't mind it, and then mineralize, that's what I add to my distilled water. So I am excited for week two, here's what it looks like, I am one day into it, ready for bed, and excited to show you my um, week one progress.